Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to Back to the Future of a Video Game. This time on episode 2, Get Tannen. Now without further ado, let's get Rudy Poo. Let's start a new game. Yeah, let's show goals. And let's start our adventure from where we left off in episode 1. And in case you didn't watch episode 1, I think we might just have a little bit of a introduction for you. If you just keep watching. Back to the future. The game. It's Saturday, June 13th, 1931. And welcome to episode 2, Get Tannen. Winning. So let's see where we left our two heroes, shall we? Remember, we saved Doc from potentially being killed. But at the end of the last episode, Mai was fading away from existence again. What did he do now? Ah! Ah! What's happening? I don't know. Unless... Uh, tomorrow's newspaper. Do you still have it? Yeah. Local accountant beaten. Left for dead. Local accountant Arthur McFly was severely beaten and left for dead on the steps of the Hill Valley Courthouse last night. They're gonna kill my grandpa? Tannen's goons, no doubt. Probably in retaliation for Arthur answering that subpoena you delivered. What are we gonna do? I'm not sure what we can do. According to this, your grandfather was dumped on the doorsteps of the courthouse five minutes ago. My dad's picture is disappearing. That's the time stream catching up with your grandfather's fatal wounds. Which means your father will never be born, and neither will you, unless... Here we when go. did you last see your grandfather? Four o'clock, in the town square. Let's give him enough time to make his deposition. Right. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. That shouldn't be a problem in your case. I mean, you were in jail. All right, let's get moving before the police find us. Freeze! Ah. Step oh, out shit. of the car with your hands up. Man, dog, this is heavy. Uh, let me see, we've got to get round. Okay, let's try getting round from the passenger side. What was that? What oh. was what? Crap! I heard something back there. I no, think you didn't. you're mistaken, officer. Yeah, listen to Doc. He's wise, and he's a scientist, so he obviously knows what he's talking about. Well, looks like I caught me a fugitive. Carl Sagan, the speakeasy arsonist. A legend speakeasy arsonist, if you don't mind. The keys. Okay, let's get around to the driver's side. What the heck kind of buggy is that? Stay back! This. It's a prototype still untested. Rival to the keys? at any moment. Or suddenly take off without warning. Is that so? There it is again. I think the night air is playing tricks on you, officer. To admit, it's a good thing that the cop what only it, goes around in a clockwise formation. A German or something? Not at all. This is solid American workmanship. Ah, yes, workmanship. Aha. Huh. If it's I'm like quick something enough. out of Buck Rogers. A year from now, everybody will be driving these babies. Now I'm sure something's back there. Uh oh. Uh, I wouldn't be so. a seat. Let's do this. <laughs> Stop! Dad, no! Save your grandfather. I'll be fine until you get back. You got it, Doc. Alrighty, Doc. Let's punch it. 88 miles per hour. Here we go. We're coming, Grandpa. <laughs> 
was that? Oh, uh, can't get enough of that classic DeLorean zappiness. So awesome. Now, this is actually a dire situation. If we don't hurry up and get this sorted, we're going to be erased from existence. No. 455. Artie's got to be in there somewhere, spilling his guts to the DA. That's a good point. Oh, there he is. There he is. All I got to do is get to him before... Mr. Callahan. Oh, uh, Edna. I was wondering if I could do a little follow-up interview with you about the plight of poor Mr. Sagan. My Not sources now. indicate that Judge Brown will be setting him free tomorrow. Uh -huh. I wouldn't bet on that. What's that? Nothing. Listen, can we talk later? I've really got to get to the courthouse right now. Really? Why? Uh... 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 My grandpa's on jury duty. My grandpa's uh, on jury duty. And I have to get him his medicine. Oh, well then. Carry on. And do put that vicious dog of yours on a leash, will you? We have laws about that sort of thing, you know. Sure, no problem. Ah! Oh no. Go away, I know. Oh, come on, yesterday, Marty. Stop talking and get moving. Uh oh. Einstein? I know. No, Einstein. Stay. Einstein. What is it, boy? Stay, boy. I said stay. Crap. Silly dog. Einstein! Uh-oh. Quick, behind the tree. Is it a squirrel, Liney? Actually, before we continue quickly, I just forgot to set something up. Subtitles! Because it's always handy to see what the hell Liney? people are talking about. Okay, let's throw the stick. Play? Okay, let's play. Uh, let's see, yes. Now, where can we... <gasps> Edna, she'll create a big enough fuss. Go, Einie, go. Go get her, Einie. You! <laughs> you! <laughs> get this mangy animal away from me! Come on, if it Einstein, isn't Doggington! Nice lady. My shoes! It's the no. Way to go, Einie. Now, to get into that courthouse and grab Artie before Tannen's guys. Uh, uh. Come on, Marty. It's a little bit more. Uh-oh. That's one of his guys, and they've seen him. Emma! Hey. Oh, God. Um, hey! According to my calculations, the rotary engine for a full-scale rocket drill requires 1.21 kilowatts of power. Can you check over my work to make sure? Kilowatts. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah. But I need to get to Arthur. Why? Well, it's, a, well, it's actually quite awesome that you said kilowatts instead of gigawatts. 1.21 gigawatts! No, no, not too far. Uh... He needs help. He might be headed for an accident. Arthur McFly may not be the most coordinated fellow around, but I'm sure he can walk up a flight of stairs. Well, I don't know. Shouldn't we be getting on with our work? We're on a strict deadline, right? There's some big stairs. So is Arthur. Sure, but Arthur's on an even deader deadline. Why are you so suddenly concerned about Arthur? Oh, hell. Oh, my God, what the hell is that? What's what? <laughs> what the hell is that? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. No, I, I mean before, while I was walking towards you. I wasn't talking to anyone. I was working on equations for my rocket drill. No, I mean after. Uh, never mind. Let's get going. Follow me. Whew. That was close. I thought I'd never leave. <laughs> At least now I have a clear shot to the courthouse. Oh, yeah. Everything should be okay. Hopefully. Uh-oh. There's Zane. Well, let's get to the courthouse quick. Oh no. 
You gotta come with me. Look, you're in a lot of danger. What do you mean I'm in danger? No time to explain, Grand... Artie. Just promise me you'll stay at the police station until... Artie McFly. Just the guy we're looking for. Hey, fellas. Uh-uh. Run! Get him! Oh. That ain't nice, cue ball. Uh, luckily it didn't knock me Artie? But completely uh -huh. out. Oh no. Uh, I better pick up their trail before I start fading out again. Yep, we better hurry. A soup kitchen. I'm on it. Let's go, my. Walk faster. Faster. Why is it when it's a dire situation I can only walk? I know there's a way to run. I keep on forgetting how you bloody well do it. I have to like hold, not that button. You have to hold a specific button whilst you walk and you actually jog. But I forget which one it is. Looks clear. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. No. No, no, no. We gotta save Artie. No way that I is gonna die on my watch. Herbert Hoover. Well, hey, that's a nice Artie. one. How's my favorite accountant doing? Oh, I've been better. Yeah. I'm so sorry to hear that, McFly. Trixie, take a powder, doll. We got business to discuss. Kale, Trixie. you boys play nice now. Mwah. Nice to see you again, Artie. You too, Miss Trotter. Yeah, yeah, we're all happy as clams. Now scram. Uh-oh. <sighs> hmm. Trixie, eh? Oh, God. Artie. Cubo, no. Oh, no. Are you oh. guys stupid? What are you thinking? Bringing this fish food to my doorstep. We just thought that was your first mistake. Thinking. Look at me. Do you ever catch me thinking? Um, huh? no. Uh. Don't answer that. Look, just drag him inside, find out what he told the DA, then get rid of him. I oh, think no. we can handle that. Good. Now, if you don't mind, I've got an arsonist to snuff out. Oh, and will one of you slobs start hauling these crates in? We're on it, kid. Hmm. Now, by the looks of things, we've got to find a way to get in there and save Artie. So far, so good. Ha! Huh. Oh, oh no. Not again. <gasps> George! I better get in there quick. Oh, yeah. We better find a way in there quick. Now, let's see. I could just use the front door, but I don't want to make myself known. That would just be stupid. Didn't Kid say he wanted these crates being brought in? Contents. One wing goddess. Oops. Well. So much for that one wing goddess. But at least we made some room in that crate. I wonder. Haha! -ha! Hmm. Nice fit. Here goes now. We're gonna get all Metal Gear Solid up in this. Dun 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 Clean out the blood stains, cue ball. Shit. I'm not a gangster, I'm a freaking butler. Ah, pure cue. Poor cue ball. Which one of you guys goes in first? Jeez, for a gal with no arms, you sure is heavy. That's not all that's heavy. Ooh. Oops. That's what Ow. she said. Do you mind? I'm trying to conduct a professional interrogation over here. Where now that's what I he says. This? Just shove it behind the bar. I'll ha. just shove you behind the bar. Ooh, Ooh. that is what she said. Very interesting. Come oh on, god. Buddy. Jeez, how much chloroform do you put on that rag anyway? What? Because I'm having a hard time bringing Sleeping Beauty here around. Uh, uh, Let me see. Uh, Chloroform. Chloroform, hey, the ultimate we got in a few pedophilia the weaponry. DA. DA, DA, 
D E D. See what I'm working with here. Just stay asleep, buddy. Seems to be catching. Zay, wake up. Uh oh. Oh, sorry, boss. The stupid cold's got me wiped out. <laughs> well, try Ew. to stay awake long enough to finish that poster, will ya? We got a club to open in a few days. And turn off that sign, would ya? Hmm. Okay. Wake up, sleepyhead. So let's see, we gotta get rid of these. Well, we gotta find some way to get I back to safety ah, again. Ah, oh, stupid cold. Now that's the switch for the sign, but that's not really gonna do anything. Wait a minute. What's this panic button? What? Hey! Hey! What was that? Must be some wiring problems with the emergency button. How's a piano still playing when he's not playing it? Automatic piano technology. Still can't get Trixie's nose right. Let me see, do I have anything I could smack him with? Yeah, I could stab him with the butt end of my keys. How about that? No. Don't have anything, but I could just smash him oh, over the head. God. Aha! Uh -huh. That might be handy. You're trying my patience, Artie. Hmm. McDermott's Canadian whiskey. Because everyone knows whiskey from Canada is damn right awesome. I hope the sisters. Chlorophyll. Cool no wonder Artie's so out of it. Okay, let's have a look over the counter for a second. So we got Zane. Ooh, a sheet of paper. What is this? What do I spy with my little eye? Word games? Let me have a look at that. What do I spy with my little eye? I spy a dry guy. Do you know what's down below? Low flies and vermin. Why should I let you in, in case I get thirsty? Okay. That seems... important somehow. This is I guess be the to play later. speakeasy in Hill Valley. It's gonna be the only speakeasy now, in Hill... I wonder what will happen if I put chloroform... Hill Valley. ...in this ink bottle. Oh, hey guys, I don't feel so. Oh. Zay, wake up, you lazy bum. It must have been the cold. Cold my eye. He's been dipping into the inventory. The inventory. <laughs> it is One more on down, so... two to go. Okay, we've got two more guys left. Now, how are we going to get up, sleepyhead. people involved? Well, we know how to get rid of matches. That goes without saying. Okay, I... I think we should head back down into normal view. Okay, I can get rid of matches. Hey! hey. You hear something? Bring it on, matches. I got a present for you in shape of Canadian diplomacy. Ugh. Matches! Uh oh. This doesn't look too good. Another bowl. Oh wow. What what happened? You got knocked out. Okay, so This is gonna be the swellest Okay. 120 proof. Whoa. Wow, that's that's quite big. By the looks of things, I can't get rid of matches without getting rid of cue ball first. I wonder... Can I do anything with the sign? Ow! Aye, aye. What the? <laughs> I think we blew a fuse. Well, go up to the soup kitchen and get a new one. Why me? 
You'd rather hang around and talk to this guy, huh? Three days are here again. Yeah, <laughs> I'll just get that fuse. Oh, uh, classic guy, uh, McFly. But at least we got rid of cue ball. Now, Come on, let's be quick Ollie, before he up. comes back. Come over here, matches. Have some of this. Drinks up. Butthead. Bam! Right in the kisser. <laughs> you know it, Artie. Oh. Yes! We saved the day! Uh, 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 now let's get off hey out of here. you! Wait, do I know you? Not for about 40 years. Is anyone Whoa. down there? Everything's spinning! Come on, Artie. Let's get out of here before these jerks get a chance to kill you. Wait That's a minute. Move. They were gonna kill me? Yes, they were. <sighs> Great. Oh, This lovely. isn't funny, guys. <laughs> Let's just casually shuffle away. Whoa, that did the trick. Perfect time. Wow. Hang on, Grandpa. We've got a pickup to make. Wait for it. Time it perfectly. Cross over. Need a lift? I thought you'd never ask. Ah, what's he doing here? It's a long story. Oh, son of a... And then I carried Artie to the DeLorean. He came back to get you. That's okay. So we can go home now, right? Not Hopefully. yet. We still have this loose end to tie up. No, oh, we don't should be tie right. me up again. <laughs> He's coming around. Bondage. Please be careful. You won't be safe in Hill Valley as long as Kit Tannen remains at large. Yes. Don't worry, I'm going far away from Hill Valley and I'm never coming back. No! Oh. No, no, no. He's gotta hook up with Grandma. Exactly. What's her name? Uh, it's Sylvia. Do you know a woman named Sylvia? No. Well, she knows you. We'll know you. It's vitally important that you two meet. Oh, I get it. You want me to be part of some undercover sting operation. Uh, sure. Oh, no, possibly. Yeah. Are you G-Man? Uh, uh -huh. something like that. If you mean G sure. as in Anything God. Sure, Uncle Sam. I'll stay nearby and wait for this Sylvia. But in the meantime, I'll lay low. Good man. Good, good man, Artie. When can I expect to see you? That was a close call. Well, you think it'll be okay? You're not fading out, are you? Besides, Arthur will be completely out of danger come August 25th. August 25th? August 25th. That's the date Kid Tannen is finally put behind bars. Oh, good. How's that picture of your dad? Still there. Good. Let's get out of here before we accidentally elect Hoover to a second term. Because that would be just terrible. And... Boom. Well, that's the end of episode 2, that's everything we came back for, and that's the entire game rounded up. I'm, I'm being serious, that, that's the game. Or is it? This just seems... Well, everything looks okay. Are you sure? Seems See, a little soon the residents. ending of the game, doesn't it? So, wanna come in? Maybe hang out a while? I want my dad to see for himself that you're still around. Come on, dog. I'd love to, Marty, but... You've got to go. I understand, Doc. You've got a life to lead, kids to raise and all that. No, I've got to go to the bank and stop that estate sale he told me about. Oh. Oh. You go find your pop. I'll be back within the hour. See you soon, Doc. Awesome. Doc's moving back to the Hill Valley. Right. Uh, resume my life as a normal 80s teenager. Well, as soon as we go through that door into the McFly house, that's it. It's the end of the game. There's nothing else to do. Yep, this is it. Huh? Hey, anyone home? There's something wrong with my key. Please, not now. Tomorrow. Give me another day. What? What are you talking another about? Another day? 
Dad, what are you talking about? Marty? No, that's impossible. Marty was run out of town. I've got a bad feeling about this. Run out of town? What, what does he mean? Run out of town? What are you talking about, Dad? Let me in. This is a trick. Go away. Leave us alone. Haven't we suffered enough? Mom. Oh, no. M uh, Mom, it's me. Mom, it's Marty, Mom. Open up. It sounds like Marty, but it must be a trick. Mom! Go away. Shame on you. Shame on How me? How can I convince you? Tell me something only Marty would know. Ah. Uh... What I did when I was eight, how I got my scar, how you met mum. What I did when I was eight. When I was eight, when I was eight years old, I set fire to the living room rug. Come That's on. Right. Oh my lord, what are you waiting for, George? Let him in! Damn, why let me in? I wanna know what the hell's happening. Stupid locks. Marty! Dad? Oh my god, Dad! What happened to you? What do you think happened, butthead? Biff. I thought we told you to stay out of town, shrimp. Oh, God. Whatever's going on, I'm sure we can handle it. What the? Uh, reasonably. Who are they? <laughs> like you don't know Cliff and Riff. What do you think we should do with them, baby bro? What we should have done years ago, big bro. Cliff and Riff. Biff, I'm Cliff gonna and Riff. Enjoy Biff? this, McFly. Oh wait, God. wait, I'm, I'm trying to process here. Uh, when, when did Biff get puppets? Where did these other tannins come from? From a mommy tannin and a daddy tannin. It's oh. called the birds and the bugs, butthead. That's for bees, you douche hog. Uh, dodge right. Ooh. I got a question. Uh, I just went out of town. When did I get run out of town? Two years ago. Don't you remember? We made a deal that we'd go easier on your old man if you left. But now you're back, so the kid gloves can come off. Oh god. Uh, dodge right again. Ooh. Tell me. Uh, how long has this been going on? How long have you been coming down on my dad like this? Ever since that school dance, when Georgie laid Biff out in the parking lot. Uh -huh. Shut up, it's not funny. <laughs> Someone messes with the Tannen family, the Tannen family never lets him forget about it. Uh oh, uh, dodge left. And another thing. Let's get back, uh, call the truce. Uh, look, can't we bury the hatchet already? Even better idea. I bury this nine iron up your backside. Jump! Oof. Hey! And another thing. Uh, what are you after? What are you guys doing here anyway? It's that time of the month. Time for Georgie to pay up. We usually take the payment in cash, but this month we can take it out of your hide. Oh, lovely. Uh, dodge left. Beth. Uh, where's your dad? Wait, does all this have something to do with Kid Tannen? Pop? What about him? He was supposed to end up in jail. Jail? Pop's never spent a day in jail in his life. The Tannen gang's the fifth most dangerous crime family in California. We got connections all over the place. No way. What? You don't believe me? What the? No! Bang! Ha <laughs> ha! Check it out! <laughs> To your oh. family from mine. In gratitude for your continued your service, service, JJ Valenti. That's Don Valenti, godfather of the Sacramento mob. The third most dangerous crime family in California. Uh, uh, duck. Ooh. Okay, but. How come Biff's no wimp? Biff, what happened to you? When I left here, you were kind of afraid of my dad. Afraid? <laughs> <laughs> No Tannen uh -huh. ain't never been afraid of no McFly. Okay, uh, dodge left. Here's what I still don't understand. What about mom? What about my mom? I mean, how did she end up with my dad? Beats us, because she has a thing for losers. 
She could have had any one of us, but she went for old Gimpy McFly. Gimpy? I'll show you, Gimpy. Falco, jump! <laughs> oh. Here's what I still don't understand. Can't you pick on someone else? <laughs> Why can't you pick on somebody else? We do! We pick on lots of guys! It's kind of our thing. Uh, okay. Dodge right. One more question. Let's keep boxing, shall we? What did you do to my dad? What the hell did you do to my dad? Your dad's been in that wheelchair since before you were born, butthead. And you better hope he has a spare, because you're going to need one in like three seconds. Oh, God. Duck! <laughs> now, isn't that shocking? Oh, I know, that was terrible, but... Come on, I had to make a city pun like Piece that. Piece of cake. Nicely done, man. I never should have let that floozy talk me out of rubbing out your grandfather. What huh? the... Kid Tannen? Kid? No one in Hill Valley messes with the Tannen family. Oh, shit. Yeah, don't run or anything. Oh my god. Talk about. Marty, get in! This timeline's been compromised! You think? No kidding! Oh, it's time. Somehow, something we did in 1931 allowed Kid Tan to escape his date with justice. As a consequence, the Tannins have been unchecked in Hill Valley for over 50 years. 50 years? What the? Jeez, ah, grab the arcade. We've got to go back to the day Kid Tanner was supposed to be arrested. Figure out what went wrong and fix it. Otherwise, you could be forever stuck in a town owned by the Tannins. Not an option, Doc. Punch it. Here we go. Looks like we're going back to the past. Screw you, kid. We're gonna put this all straight. 